G'day team, Uncle Jojo. I'm here today to interrupt your regular scheduled programming to talk to you guys and gals out there about a bit of stretching first thing in the morning. Been asked a few questions about it. So here I go. First and foremost, we all get lumps and bumps as we get a little bit older and there is nothing better for the body than to start stretching out first thing in the morning. I do it almost every single day. I can't say I do it every single day. I'd be lying to you if I did. But here are a couple of stretches I've learned through my years of carpentry uh, and realigning the whole body. I might have to strip off. Da -na -na -na. Shh, da -na. Na, 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 na. Settle down, fellas, settle down. So, first and foremost, this is all about the hands and the wrists more than anything. I've had a number of things go wrong with my wrists. If you have a look just here, nice and close, you can see that there's a huge lump in this wrist just here. I was told that I could get it cut out. It doesn't give me too much trouble as long as I always stretch. If I don't stretch, then I get really bad problems. Might just see if I can put you up here and facing downwards. That might be a little bit better. First, just put your hands on the ground, flat like that, and just stretch the wrists forward. Stretching your wrists forward, making sure that you are stretching your fingers out. Feel the muscles all, and just breathe into it. Don't just Wrench your arms around, don't do that. You'll wreck it. Just breathe in, hold it for about 30 seconds. Then you can release and do it again. Next one, I turn my hands backwards. Oh, far out. Now, one huge part of this is actually just to keep the back or the posture of the back in a really good position as well. You don't want your body to be curled or anything like that. You want to be using your arms as much as you can uh, and feel that stretch through the thumbs, through the hands, through the back of the wrist, all of those places that all feel horrible yet <laughs> really good. Again, breathe into it. If you need a little bit extra, pull the wrists back towards your butt. Just a little bit. Okay, release it. Do not just lift them straight up, release them properly. Next one, this is my most hated yet loved one. This one I got taught by Dr. Jones, Dr. Jones. Golly, Dr. Jones. So, now when I first started doing this, I couldn't get my hands or my arms past this part here. But it took probably close to about three years to get this maneuver. So we put our hands flat on the ground and we straighten our arms out and we push through our hands. So I can actually feel it through these parts here mainly. And then you can roll your hips back and forward and really stretch through those wrists as much as you can. Turn, make sure you turn those elbows forward. That's really important. Now the next one I'm gonna show you is not pleasant. What we do is we clench a fist as much as you can and again stretch through. If you have to, you can try and do it this way. This hurts a lot. I am not going to lie to you and this took me probably an extra six months to learn after stretching my arms out properly. I make it look easy but you also remember that I've stretched this morning also. So this here is another one of those ones just to get that going. When you release this, don't just lift it straight up. Let your hands go, bring the elbows down, and then just put your hands back on the ground again and just give them a bit of a wiggle if you need to. And then just realign the body again. Nice sway sideways, and then you're back into it.
an old Aikido stretch that we do is we just bring those to the hands, to the chest, and give it a bit of a, a wiggle. Same on this side. Then we do the same on this side. And then last one on that side. There's another, I'll give you another stretch. If I get any good feedback about those, um, I'll give you another really good stretch to do. But do that every day uh, if you don't know, or if you're suffering from shoulders, if you're suffering from forearms. Um, I've got some really good ones uh, for, uh, people call it tennis elbow, I like to call it um, wanker's cramp. <laughs> Only joking. I like to call it hammer hand. Um, my hands hurt quite a lot, especially in the winter, but forearms can absolutely and utterly kill us if we don't take care of uh, our wrists and our arms properly and make sure that you get those. So I've got a few good tricks for that also. Really simple things that we can do on site. Let me know if you want to see those. Thanks for watching. And like always, everyone, stay on Real Banana Peels. I'll see you in the soup.